welcome back in the previous video we created our action to be able to help us to update our profile right so in this video we are going to create a reducer to handle this action so let me collapse all these open files and then let me go over again so in my front end src actions and then reduces and for users let me create one file and this file is for only updating user details to so update user profile all right so it's, it's, it's a good um, option it's a good habit to break down your state into pieces okay so here we are going to create our function right a reducer so let me call this one cons um, update user profile equal to uh, arrow function like this and then I'm going to make use of switch because until this point I will say we've making use of this syntax a lot so like I said react redox is really awesome if you know the flow it's like a repetition so it's it's, it's be good if you're familiar with the syntax understand the whole concept and you can make or create any logic in your application right so here for my action i pass in the state and the action right so i declare my state as an empty and the on the action right the type remember inside my actions is something like action dot type let me show you where it's coming from so when you go to my actions and then um, use this action like this update we have a type right so we're going to make condition so if the type is equal to user request do something or equal to um, success do something that's all what you're doing here right so here I'm going to make use of um, case the our first case in court it says that um, user um, update request right let me see if I have auto import or oh, perfect I have the auto import bar there so in case there is user request right you are going to return some state right and then return a state and we will say loading is equal to true right let me see let me add a new property on my state called true all right so now our state holds one property called true okay so um let me before i forget let me default um everything to the default so let's say that in case there is no request coming to this uh, what i'm going to do is that i will say default and i'm going to return my state right my piece of state so i can remove this carry basis here and then just return my state right so with this um redos will know you on us okay we haven't our uh, your reducer has been passed but initial value is undefined right so here we are checking when the user update requests and the next one is when a case of user update success user uh, update success let me see user update success boom auto import and this is where the magic com comes into play this is what you want so if there's a user success then you will say the user yeah, I want to add a different property to my state and say user is equal to the action dot payload remember the payload is coming from success this payload which is the response coming from this request and you say let's add more properties on onto it the success property to true we can make use of this success to make a spanning like going around going around like that okay so um in case there's something goes wrong then you say user update fail right auto import boom what do you need you will say return a new state and say loading to false at this point it has finished loading that's why we call the error and all what we need is the error is equal to action dot payload so the last piece of the cake is to export default right export default export default the um, 
update user. Let me copy this one. Then this, uh, this one. All right. So now you are good to go. Let's see if you have some errors. Let's refresh application. Oh, voila! Nothing is going wrong. So you are good to go. So next, let's connect that piece of reducer to our store, and that is all. So on our store, what we need, we are going to add additional property called updated user here, right? So here. So let me show you one more time. When I refer the application, I go to my addition tool. When I open my state, there's nothing like updated user. But as soon as I connect that state, so let me call this one updated user. It's equal to um, user, what's the name of my updated user profile, right? So let me paste it here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, and then let me make sure I have the auto import. Boom, I have it. Auto import. Now let's refresh it and let's see what we have. Mm, let's refresh our application. So let's see. Boom, we have it. There's nothing in it because our initial state is empty, right? So let's pay something like this. Let me call this one the off to true, right? So this is what I'm passing as my initial state. When we go to our state, now let's refresh it and we see off equal to true. Voila. Okay, but we want to populate this one with a request coming from our action. And action talk to the back end as simple as that. So let me remove all these stuff here. And then the next video, we are going to dispatch the action in our component and then we are good to go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, share, comment, and promote me to do more videos like this.